So I'm just finished watching Apple's WWDC event for 2024 and here are some of the features that you are actually going to use. First off, Apple mentioned that they are completely redesigning the home screen and what we can do with it. Now we'll be able to stack apps to the right or left of the screen, move multiple apps at once, which is a feature that, look, we've all been waiting for, especially those of us who love to customize our homepages. And we can also now change the color of the text, the application, the icons. There's a completely new look on light mode and dark mode. So this is something I'm incredibly excited about and I must say will be used often, especially by me. Apple also announced a control center complete redesign. Now, I'm not sure how many of you will actually use this, but personally, when I'm using my iPhone and the control center, I use it fairly often. And to have all of these different features at kind of a swipe of a button essentially, I think is completely valid. Now, I don't think I'm gonna see the value in that feature as some of the other ones, but I thought I'd mention it. Here's one I think a lot of us have been waiting for. Have you ever had your phone robbed off you by one of your friends and they nearly go into your messaging app and try to message someone that you don't want them to message? Well, Apple are finally, finally trying to solve that. And similarly to how you can lock your notes on your iPhone, you'll now be able to lock your certain apps and also hide them from the homepage. So there'll be a little hidden file when you scroll over into your folders and that will contain all of the apps that you've hidden and have locked away securely. And it will completely avoid that situation going forward. Apple touched on messaging, and I don't know if these are huge improvements. To be honest, in Europe, we, I don't know, I don't, speaking personally, I don't use iMessage that whole pile. It's usually WhatsApp or, or some other form of messaging app. However, they have made some adjustments, and those adjustments are adding different celebrations to the text. You'll be able to highlight different text pieces and apply different effects. And you'll now be able to use iMessage and SMS through the satellite network that Apple have when you're kind of off the grid. Look, that is quite useful. How often are you gonna be super off the grid that you need to do that? I don't know, but look, it's in there now. One of the ones that I'm particularly excited about because I actually use the default mail app is the fact that they're actually going to be using smart filters from now on, well, when iOS comes in. So what will happen is your primary emails are filtered into a primary box and then you'll have other ones for food, travel and so on. And I believe Apple are using some AI there to kind of pull out the relevant emails and put them into folders of their own, which I look, it's a welcome change, especially for those of you with 24,000 emails. They even showed that in their actual press conference. So yeah, they're definitely throwing shade at people like that. But in fairness, the mail app has needed a massive overhaul for some time now. So look, it's a welcome, welcome change. The next thing they mentioned that I think is extremely useful is a payment innovation where we can actually tap our phone similar to when you have, you're trying to exchange a contact with someone. You might've been playing around with that with family and friends. You'll now be able to do that and actually pay them through Apple Pay. I think this is fantastic. I, you know, Android phones have had this for pretty much years. Um, I know there's literally businesses out there that take wireless payments through Android phones, including from Apple. So look, it's a, it's a huge step forward, I think. And look, who knows what that means for some people with their small businesses that they need to get up quickly off the ground. I think it's amazing, especially if you've been out for food and let's say one person pays and you can all just pay that person literally by tapping your phone. I think it's brilliant, great to see it. They mentioned some other things about event ticket improvements, you know, the wallet app on your phone, the tickets are getting a complete redesign, and there's also gonna be additional information shown in there, especially when you're going to stadiums and the likes. That's not super important to me. They also mentioned some gaming enhancements, which to be honest, went right over my head because any gaming I do is definitely not on my iPhone or iPad for that matter. Now, one thing that is pretty cool and I can see some potential in it is a photo app redesign. Apparently this is Apple's biggest redesign that they're going to do on the photo app um, and essentially they're targeting those of us who have screenshots mixed in with all our photos and basically they're going to use I, I assume AI to filter all your photos and you can kind of set that up how you like from what I gather from the WWDC event. It will also make it super easy to search through photos with thematic grids at the top and those will be like tying people and trips and stuff like that that all they carousel the images for you. So look I think that's going to be fantastic especially if you're like me and you're, you're constantly jumping in your phone trying to trying to show someone a photo you took recently or whatever it also has an option to exclude any screenshots so you can literally have the cleanest photo album and i just i, I like the move from apple that they're going more towards customizability i know that's one of the big draws for android um, especially where you have kind of full access over your phone 
And maybe is this apple kind of extending their wall garden a little bit and giving us a little bit of freedom? Who knows, it's all new to us anyway. Um, but look, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos on the WWDC event, let me know in the comments below. And what do you think about the new iOS 18 update? And what was your favorite feature that you're looking forward to? I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.